This is Minecraft, but your XP equals your temperature. Today, the more XP we collect, the less cold and way hotter our player gets. From being frozen solid at level 0, to being beach ready at level 60, to even becoming hotter than fire? My goal is to collect XP to make my temperature as high as possible, but as my temperature gets higher, things might definitely take a turn. So, how high can my temperature go? And how will I get XP when frozen solid? Stay tuned to find out. So right now, we're level 0, and we're frozen solid. Oh gosh, and all I can do is we'll go around where the entire world is frozen, including me. And so you guys probably already get the point. Do not get frozen. We're gonna have to get some XP via advancements where the first thing I gotta do is break the ice and I gotta make mobs like me? Huh? Oh, snow jacket cow. Wait, so do I just like right click it? Oh, it licked me. The cow is now stuck to you. Okay, I get the point now. All right, cows, hurry up. Let's get licking. Another cow right there. And I'm gonna guess these are the cows that might become XP after a bit. Oh gosh. All right, that's four cows. Oh, that's the last cow right there. What's up, man? All right, last cow and it's five enough. Five cows are stuck to you. You feel heavy. And so now that we feel heavy, I think I just gotta break the ice by falling with the heaviness. Okay, let's see if this works. Big ravine right here. Hopefully this stops the fall, but I think I just jump. Oh, here we go. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh, oh it worked. Temperature increase and we got a level. And oh my goodness. May have broken the ice, but now I am the ice. And so now that we're level one, we're also one degree Celsius. Very nice. Okay, so what else did we get? We got a winter coat and some leather. Wait, can I put on the coat? I guess because it's cold. Oh, we have a coat now. Nice. Ability unlocked warm breath. Oh, yep, yep. That's warm breath. Okay, well, I definitely can't get more speed down here right now because I don't have tools, but maybe we can now go to the temple up there. All right, give me one sec. On the way back up, we found some ice shards. I think I fell with these. Okay, these might be useful later. Let's keep going up. Okay, we're back up now, and it looks like there's a villager down in front of the temple. Treasure hunter. What's up, man? I heard a loud bang and came right away. When I got here, though, I found this beautiful temple. Do you think you could help? Help me export for treasure? Oh, uh, sure. I, I guess that might be what has the next bit of XP. Real quick, let's get some tools. All right, got the stone tools. And so do I just like break through the snow? Oh, wait, what the heck? Is this like a staircase? Wait, this might not be a normal temple at all then. Yep, definitely not a normal temple. All right, let's take down these guys real quick. And of course they don't drop any XP. Okay, so I see some chests around here, which I'm gonna guess that's where all the treasure is. Okay, let's go up real quick. I'm gonna guess that things are harder to get XP from then. Oh, wait, I right clicked the chest and now we got one treasure. Nice, get that one right there. There we go, that's gonna be treasure number two. Still no XP, but I'm supposed to find five. Oh gosh, big area. Okay, let's just run around real quick. Going. Get the treasure. That's gonna be number three. And where's the last two? Oh, there's one right over here. There we go. Okay, that's gonna be number four. And I don't think there's any other chest down here. So maybe I gotta bring it back to him or something. All right, let's go back up real quick and get away from the husks. All right, there we go. And weird, there should be one more down here. Wait, what, why is it shaking? Hello? Who oh, dear take my treasure? I'll have it all back. Of course. Okay, who did we wake up? Ice Pharaoh. Okay, he's probably down there. I'm gonna guess. All right, let's go down real quick. On the bright side, we do have some raw beef that we can eat. And one thing I also realized, guys, while I was grabbing all the chests is we actually did unlock a brand new craft on the screen right now and it's to use the ice shards and i think we can make an ice sword like this oh there it is ice sword sharp as ice oh that is nice okay oh gosh okay is he down here oh yep that definitely is a nice pharaoh okay good thing i'm already frozen so that doesn't do that much to me let's go in oh i'm cheesing the fight guys i am definitely cheesing the fight all right let's fall back real quick and get some raw beef in us and oh gosh okay 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 maybe we gotta take this slow no they came through oh it's getting a little bit too close okay let's fall back real quick Ooh. And down goes the pharaoh, just like that. A little bit too close for comfort. And now we got the last treasure and also warm XP. This might be what we needed. Okay, so I don't know how many levels it's gonna give us, but let me try out the ice stuff. Oh, 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 okay. I am definitely gonna be using that later. And I guess without further ado, let's try out this warm XP by throwing it down, I think. Here we go. Oh, temperature increase. And it gave me 29 levels. Guys, we're now 30 degrees Celsius. And am I in floaties? Well, I guess now we're ready for the beach. And so do I just give the last piece of treasure to him? There we go. Wow, nice floaties. I'm going to keep hunting for treasure, but the beach is north. Oh, wait, we have a beach now. Okay, might be a little bit too cold for us now. But now we have a message for a beach 415 blocks away this way. All right, I guess let's go straight this way. And does it get hotter that way? I guess we'll just go and find out. <gasps> I think that's the beach over there. We made it. Yes. All right, so how am I going to get XP here? Uh, hello? Oliver. 
What's up, Oliver? Whoa, dude, you need a tan. We're having our King of the Beach event today. Winner gets a sick hat. First event is volleyball. See you there. Wait, did you just go down in the sand? <laughs> what? Okay, wait, so if we're playing volleyball, how are we playing volleyball in Minecraft? And what does this have to do with XP and getting hotter? Hit the ball back over the net. Oh, oh, wait, we're playing. All right, three, two, one, let's go. Oh, gosh, oh, gosh. Okay, it feels more like tennis than volleyball, but this is actually the coolest thing ever. What the heck? Oh, my gosh, this guy's so good. Oh, there we go. First score. Oh, okay, straight to round two. That's gonna be number two. Oh, he's serving it again, guys. Oh, gosh, oh, gosh. Okay, okay, let me throw in an angle. No! Ah, he got it there. I don't know if it's first to three or whatever, but we're going at it. No! Guys, this guy is beating my butt. What the heck? It's 2-2 right now. Come on. Yes! Oh, I've been playing wrong the whole time. I gotta jump, and then I can angle it. There we go! I gotta, like, jump, and then angle it, and there we go. All right, better get the trophy from this. No! Oh, gosh, okay, he's kind of beating my butt. Yes, there we go. Number seven. His weak point is the right. Oh, my gosh, that's 7-4. How am I losing to a villager? Oh, number eight. Come on. Number nine. Oh, that's one. And yes! There we go. Down goes Oliver. And we just played volleyball in Minecraft. Nice. All right, well, my reward be XP. What are we doing, Oliver, here? You won this one, but you won't win our sandcastle contest. Oh, okay. Why, why, how does he even do that? Okay. Also, I don't get a prize from that. Okay, where's the sandcastle contest? I mean, I can make some decent builds sometimes, not really, but... Oh, there he is right there. What's up, Oliver? Check this out. Uh, what, what am I checking out? Oh! How am I supposed to beat that? Your turn. Talk to me when you're done. Guys, you know my builds by now. There is no way I can make such a great build. Okay, real quick. We're gonna get a lot of sand, and then we're gonna get ready to, uh, compete with that. All right, montage time. Okay, we got a whole lot of sandstone, a whole lot of sand, and guys, I still have no idea how I'm gonna beat this, but if we can make any castle, I have a little bit of an idea. All right, let's get to building. And there we go, guys. Now we have a giant villager head. And oh gosh, it's so ugly. I am so gonna lose. Go on and rate my building in the comments down below. Um, just, just, just say something nice with the timestamp. Anyways, Mr. Oliver, I am ready with my build. As you can see, it's a lot better and it, it looks good, right? Right? Well, I think it's safe to say I won, but let's ask the judges. What, what, what do you mean you won? Wait, judges? Oh! <laughs> What? And why did they go through the sand? Yep, I definitely won. See you by the coastline for the last challenge. That literally took me like 15 minutes, guys. And I got a zero for it. Well, let's just go to the next challenge. Oh, there he is. Uh, so what are we doing here? It looks like it's pretty much a normal river. Oh, wait, are those surfboards? Hello? Okay, first one through all the rings wins. Go. Oh, we're surfboarding. Yo. Oh, this is sick. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay, so we just gotta go through all the rings. Okay, it's like a rhythm to it, guys. Because if I wait too long, I go in too deep. I better be getting XP for this. Oh, man. Oh, man. We're actually getting good speed. Let's go. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Very last one. I don't see him, so I think we beat him. And is that it? Oh, we did it. I hereby declare you king of the beach. And just like that, we complete the challenge. And now we have a beach crown and some more warm XP. Let's put on the beach crown real quick. And we got three more hearts. Very nice. Oh, are you are you sweating? Wow, it's hot here. I'm gonna go underground to keep cool. You should too. Oh, oh, and down it goes. Okay. All right, let's get some more XP. And now see how many levels we get. Oh, 20 more levels and a temperature increase. Increased. Okay, I'm sweating now. Guys, it is now 50 degrees Celsius. And I'm gonna guess now we should probably go underground like that guy said. Oh, well, that's kind of convenient because right beside us now this showed up. The cool cave. And I'm gonna guess this is where everything begins. Okay, before we go there and see what's up in there, we did get a brand new ability, which is a sweat cannon. So let's use that. Sweat cannon. Oh, oh wait, that's sick. So all our sweat becomes water we can blast. Very nice. All right, what's in here then? Oh gosh, it's a scientist? Mad Peter. Hello, Mad Peter. What's up, man? Nothing is perfect. Hey, you, take this. Get me some XP value for mobs. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, okay. An XP stealer. Maybe this is how I get, I guess, to the next XP level and the next heat level. Oh, finally a mob. And, okay, so do I just right click? Oh, and it filled the XP a little bit. All right, let's grab as much XP as we can. That's gonna be a little bit more. That's gonna be six XP. Doesn't give it to me, but get over here. All right, that's number eight. And also some diamonds. My goodness. Okay, before we go back, let's make sure to grab those diamonds. Wait, can I get XP from a bat? Might not be that much XP. Oh, gosh, get back here. Oh, and there we go. Okay, now the XP sealer is full. And before we take it back to the scientist, diamonds and diamonds. All right, let's get some iron. All right, iron pickaxe. And now we get diamonds. All right, let's get the diamond pickaxe just in case. And now let's take this XP sealer back to the scientist. All right, Mr. Scientist, got the XP sealer. Why, thank you. This is much better. Ha ha. Anyways, please follow me into my secret tunnel and I'll show you what this is for. Um, okay, where are we going, buddy? Well, here goes nothing. Wait, what is he doing? Oh, oh my. X poison Peter. Gotta guess we gotta fight this guy now. All right, with the power of sweat, we can do this. His attacks don't even make me this better. Give me some XP. One more hit, and down goes XP Peter, just like that. And he dropped a giant bucket, it looks like.
looks like. Giant bucket. Do I just grab the water then? Right click? Oh! Giant bucket of XP. I'm gonna guess this is what we drink and then we get a lot hotter. So real quick, let's go in here. And here goes nothing, guys. Right click and temperature increasing. Oh my! We're now at 150 degrees Celsius and we unlocked the ability Melted Momentum. Do I just press it? Oh, 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 yep, 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 yep. That'll do it. All right, so how do I get XP now? I do have a brand new advancement on the screen which is gonna be Protein Packed, which is drink a self-made protein shake, huh? How does that even work? Maybe I gotta come out here? Wait, my body melted off me? Oh, I'm melting! Oh, no! Wait, what's going on? The alley just took your arms and legs. Oh, um, right. Well, that just happened. Okay, well, now we gotta, I guess, chase that down, and my right arm is this many blocks away from me? Oh, gosh, guys, I'm literally blob now, but now let's go all the way over there, I guess. Wait, what the heck is this place? I'm gonna guess my arm came here, then? I'm gonna guess it's probably the big old TNT house. All right, let's go inside. Oh, no. One bad step, guys, and I am literally screwed. Anyone around? Hello? Where's my arm at? Is my arm not in here? Maybe it's down here. Maybe it's in this house? Oh, well, that's my hand right there. Hello? What's up, man? Back off, and Allie gave me this arm. If you want it back, you'll need to do chores for me. Huh? Clean Creeper's house. All right, let's, uh, I guess pick up all the gunk. Oh, there's a Minecraft dumpster, apparently. Okay, let's put it in the trash. There we go. And now, I guess we can talk to the creeper. All right, did your chores, buddy. What do you want now? Fine, deal's a deal. Goodbye, Chewy Arm. And now we have our arm back. Can I, can I put it back? Oh, no, but it's not letting me put it anywhere. Oh, gosh. Okay, all right. Have a good day, creeper. And now the next arm is 110 blocks away. Wait, is it supposed to be up here? Oh, gosh. Why did the alley leave me a whole parkour? Melted parkour. Let's go. I'm crazy with it. Here we go. 13 blocks away. Oh, here. What the heck is that? The rare some phantom saw your arm. Okay, then. All right, you know what time it is, guys. Let's throw a few sweat bombs and get this guy out of the way. It is a some phantom, so I'm gonna guess water's probably the best way to do it. So, real quick, sweat it down, and down goes my arm just like that. And now we got my left arm. All I gotta do now is just get my other leg. My goodness, how many pieces did it take for me? All right, I think we gotta go this way now. Oh, wait, it might be in the mountain. Okay, let's try to find the entrance. Okay, so it wasn't the mountain. Is it somewhere? around here? Oh, it's some dogs. Uh, do I just talk to the dog? Hello? Oh, Nestor, help me. I lost my babies. If you help me find them, I'll give you this leg. Okay, yet again, we gotta do some chores to get my leg back. Oh, and we can just straight up grab the babies. All right. Yeah, uh, there we go. That's gonna be two, and I'm gonna guess I gotta get all ten. My goodness. Let me get you real quick. All right, that's gonna be four. Okay, it's actually harder than I thought to actually find these guys. All right, in the meantime, here we go. One, two, three, four. That's gonna be that done. Let's find the rest, I guess. Okay, last one. Now we have all six. And can I get my leg back? Where's the mom at? Oh, there she is. Let's go to give all the puppies. And there we go. Thank you so much. I'll never lose them again. Take this leg. And now we have my left leg. So we got my arms, my legs. And now the final leg to get back is... 59 blocks away. Okay, what is this way then? Oh, wait, is that a house? Oh, we gotta see someone in there. Okay, so now what? Bill the Sculptor. Hello, Bill. Oh, hello. My dog brought me a leg and I was so confused. Lucky for you, I'm a sculptor. Put your body parts in my Sculptatron and we can put them back on you. Oh, Sculptatron. Wait, so if I get my leg, my arm, and my left leg, how does this work? Okay, that's one piece. That's another piece. And so do I get my body back for this? Oh, there we go. Oh, it's a blunder. Oh, of course it's here, bud. Now you you have no limbs. Really? Okay. Give me my limbs back. Nope. Nope. Down goes here, bud. And, and, and do, do I get it back? No. No. Oh, oh gosh. Okay. Wait. So what do I do with this? Do I right click it? Oh, wait. Did I just drink my own thing? Oh, guys. I think I just drank myself, huh? Okay, so now that we're a glass of Nestor, we got the advancement done, but we also got another message where a new building is 500 blocks away from us. Wait, do we go this way? A new giant building opened up a nearby village. Oh, and we also unlocked a milk thrower ability. Wait, so are we like a glass of Nestor milk, huh? I guess let's try that out. Uh, do I press the key? Oh, it straight up launches milk. Very nice. All right, let's go to this village area. Oh, well, it's definitely by a village because it's literally massive. Okay, uh, I don't know what exactly I'm supposed to do with this thing to get more levels, but we do have an advanced mom screen right now, which is gonna be baking accident. Be used in a cake? Oh, wait, is that a bakery? Oh, oh gosh. Oh, wait, are those mice? Hello? Are you guys nice? Nope. Okay. I uh, don't know why there's mice in the factory, but let's go into here. Okay, now we're in the new building, but what the heck are we supposed to do in here? A lot of mice, it looks like. Let's take these guys down. And holy! That's a giant villager! Um, do, do, do I talk to you or something? Hey, you there. I'm missing ingredients for my new giant cake. Do you think you could help me get them? I'm sure there's some stuff around the kitchen that can help. Oh, gosh. Okay, we're gonna get some eggs, some wheat, and some sugar. We can get the sugar from over
over here and holy eggs. Holy, okay, that's gonna be 16 eggs right there. Let's go down here real quick, get all the shuriken we need. That's gonna be one second of shuriken. That was easy. And finally, the wheat over here. Wait, all right, the health rating on this place must be really low. Holy. All right, let's go over here. Take care of this last mouse right here or oh my goodness, he's stuck in the pipes. I am so sorry. And now finally, let's get some wheat right here. All right, that should be enough wheat. One sack of wheat, one sack of sugar and definitely a lot of eggs. All right, Mr. Villager, here you go. Take all the wheat you need. I'm not really sure how much he needs, so I'm just gonna go ahead and spam him. Then let's give him some eggs and all the sugar you'll ever need. Guys, this is probably not enough, so I'm gonna have to go get some more eggs or something. All right, chickens, let's get all the eggs real quick. All right, hopefully this should be enough. There you go, all the eggs you'll ever need, Mr. Villager. And there we go. Thank you so much. Now I just need some. Wait, maybe you could work. Can I use you as a final ingredient? Huh? Enter the oven. Oh gosh, the advancement was not kidding, guys. Let me get some bread just in case. Gotta, gotta be some good. I guess like Sorio, whatever I am. And in we go. What happens now? Does it turn on? I think I set the heat too high. Wait, what do you mean he set the heat too high? Oh! Oh my, what is going on? You became a cake. Oh my gosh. Return to the baker. Guys, we're literally a cake now. This is Minecraft, but your XP goes your temperature. I have not changed temperature yet. Am I supposed to be eaten now or what? what's going on here? Oh, actually, you can just keep that cake. Oh, 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 wait. He gave me a separate cake. So with that being done, we now get an XP cake, which I think I'm supposed to eat this thing. All right, let's eat it. There we go. Temperature increase and we just got 500 more levels. Now we're level 1000 and 1000 degrees Celsius. Guys, I think we're now made of Fire. And wait, I have the ability to fly now? Huh? Oh, I can fly now! Yo, that's sick! All right, so I'm like human torch nester. Very nice. I'm gonna guess Gabe and Otter. We're gonna talk to this guy, which is gonna be Steve. Looks a little bit different from the usual Steve, but I guess we'll talk to him. You look like you could help me. Could you light this bonfire for me? Oh, um, sure, I think. Okay, so how do I even light this? Oh, passive fire ability unlocked. Oh, yo! Okay, so now I'm properly on fire. And wait, so can I just light this if I'd like go to it or something? Oh, it lit! Yes, I'm burning it down! Let's go! Thank you so much, my friend. Mason could use your help. Find him in the stone mason house. Well, now that we're fire, we lit up the entire campfire thing, and I guess let's go to Mason now. All right, let's fly over there. Oh, maybe he's up here. There's Mason. How's it going, buddy? Uh, ignore all the heat coming off of me, but what's up, man? I know, I'm Mason, and my name is Mason. I ironic, right? Uh, yeah, 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 very nice. Anyways, I need to harden this clay, but my furnace stopped working. Could you help me? Oh, okay, I guess I could try. Do I just, like, put this down and go over or something? No, that didn't work. Oh, wait, what if I use that ability? I got earlier where I run and make fire. Let's try that real quick. Okay, here we go. Go! Yes! Oh, and it worked! One sack of terracotta just like that, and oh gosh, let's not burn down the village real quick, but I'm gonna guess this is what all Mason, the Masoner, wanted. Alright, Mason, here you go. These are perfect. We were contacted to build a house with these. Could you help us build it? I, I, I mean, that's your job. I'm, I'm literally supposed to get XP. I better get paid for this, but where do I even build the house? I only have two sacks of terracotta right now, so I guess we'll just build a small house right here. Alright, give me one sec. Let's just do this real quick. It's gonna be the tiniest house ever, but it's gonna be the greatest house ever. Like, like you guys already know, I'm the greatest builder of all time, so don't worry. Okay, there we go. Now we just need one door real quick. Let's get the door there. It's not gonna be the greatest build ever, but it's honest work. There we go. All right, Mason, I did your job. Wow, that was awesome. Well, are, are you sure that was awesome? Okay. Thank you. I heard Bob's family got trapped in a mansion near here. You should go help him. Oh, okay. Now we gotta help someone else with a mansion 7,000 blocks away. All right, let's get to flying. And now we gotta go straight this way, it looks like. And we're here. Uh, wait, is this Bob? Hello, Bob? Uh, what happened, Bob? Hello, I need your urgent help. My family's stuck inside this mansion. All right, I'll try to find them. Well, Let's go. Wait, am I Naruto running? Wait, what the heck? All right, let's go in the mansion. Oh gosh, okay. Um, I think I heard a villager somewhere. Where would they be? Um, are they in here? No, no, no. Maybe it's on the other side. Oh gosh, vindicators. And yet again, they don't drop XP, so I can't even level up from these guys. I'm just trying to get hotter. Oh gosh. Oh wait, are they in here? Hello? Oh, I found them. Yo, what's up, guys? Do I talk to you? Oh, have you come to save us? Then why is it getting so hot in here? Oh no! The mansion is catching on fire. No, 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 no. No, I did not mean to cause this. No. Um, guys, I think we might be too much on fire now. Oh, no. Um, hey, Bob. Well, what's up, man? What were you doing? You burned the whole mansion and turned us into this. At least my kids are safe. Oh, wait, are the kids safe? Hold up. I, I mean, they're alive. I guess they're fire villagers now. Yeah, let let's go with that. Okay, let's fly away real quick and act like this never happened. And now with that being done, we got an XP emerald. Right click me. Um, is this gonna give me like the power of more XP? So yet again, we're 1000 degrees Celsius. So now when we right click this, oh, temperature 
temperature increase yet again. And oh my gosh, guys, we're now 7,000 levels. And that's gonna be 7,000 degrees Celsius. Let me press a five real quick. And how do I look? Oh, wait, what am I? Oh, I'm like a part of the sun now. Something strange is happening with the sun. Use your abilities to stabilize it. Wait, what? Wait, am I supposed to fly up there? We did unlock a brand new ability, which is called super fly. So I'm gonna guess I can now fly to the sun. Before anything, here's a brand new advanced mount scooter right now, which is gonna be holy war. Become the new sun god. Well, we did get a brand new ability. It's a super fly. So let's go to press that. And here we go. Oh, the sun. Home of the sun god. Oh, what the heck? Oh, we made it. Okay, so what the heck am I supposed to do here? Mr. Villager, do I talk to you? Sun Villager, please help. Our sun god has gone mad and is destroying everything. This might help defeat him. He's near the core in the center of the sun. Oh, a freeze ray. Oh, it's only a freeze ray. Okay, let's go down there then and maybe see if we can get some more speed from him. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, let's slowly sneak inside and hope for the best. Anyone here? Just a uh, flying X story. Oh, yo. Oh, there's a crazy sun god. You there, you think you can become me? Oh, okay. We're fighting this guy then. Let's take down the crazy sun god and my gosh, ice destroys him. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, let's not let him power up. And down goes the crazy sun god just like that. And he says, well, I guess you could and did. Wait, the sun is still unstable. Find the core and see what's going on. Okay, he dropped a few things real quick. Let's go in and grab those. But the thing I'm supposed to get is in there. And is that like an XP thing? It looks like an XP ball. Okay, before anything though, we did get the sun god crown, which it doesn't fit on our head. So we can't do that. And the sun staff. Convert villagers. Maybe for later. Okay, so now how do I get that out? Can I just go inside of there? Oh, wait. Okay, we can just walk in there. Okay, so if the core isn't stable, do I just grab it? Right click? Oh, and now we have the XP core. Um, do I just right click that then? And temperature increasing. Oh my. Yo. Oh, we look sick. I don't even know what I am now, but I'm literally 100,000 degrees. The sun is now stable. Talk to the sun villager again to see how to return home. And we also got a brand new ability, which is going to be sun launch. Sun launch? What did I just do? Oh gosh, that might be above us. Okay, let's real quick use our flying abilities and get out of here. All right, all the way up we go. And what did I do? Let's do that one more time. Ow. Oh my. Maybe I shouldn't use that on the sun. Okay. Anyways, Mr. Villager, how do I get out of here? Thank you. You have saved the sun from total destruction. We will follow you as our new sun god. Oh, you want to get back to the earth? Just jump off the sun and that should do it. Oh, wait. So I literally just jump by the side. Okay. Let's, I guess, go to the side of it and then I just jump. All right. Here it goes, nothing. Oh, oh, we're back. Yo. Now I need followers. Try using the sun stats to convert the villagers. Oh, is that what this is for? Okay. But before we get to that, we did unlock a brand new craft with these sun shards which is going to be with three sun shards. And then we get the sun sword. Hotter than a sun god. Oh, it fires like a fire thing. Nice. Okay, now we have the advancement Inferno, which is to defeat the ice dragon. I don't know what converting the villagers is going to do for me, but get over here. Oh, you need a place for worship. Try building a temple first. Oh, so we made him a follower, I think, but we're supposed to make a temple first. Hold up. I have a little bit of an idea, guys. What if we just make an extension to the bakery and then like make a door to it and then we can call the bakery our temple because low key, that's what I became fire, so it might work. All right, what the power of editing? Watch this. Three, two, one, and now it's done. Okay, so it's not my best build ever, guys, but it says Temple of Sun, and now you can walk straight inside of it and go to the bakery. So pretty much it's a temple now. We got the entire bakery. So does this work? I think you need something a little nicer. Let's try this. Oh, why did he not do that in the first place? Now that you have a temple, try using the staff again. We're gonna bust through the back, and now let's go convert some more villagers. So real quick, let's go up here and start converting. All right, you become a sun follower. You become a sun follower. Let's make as many as we can. Okay, so far, follower army is actually getting pretty big. Let's get a few more right here. Another one right there. Okay, one more. Oh, and why is it shaking? Something strange is happening. You're being pulled into a portal? Oh, um, where am I now? Okay, this is the ice end, apparently. And I'm gonna guess that's the ice dragon right there. Well, time for the final battle, guys. Loki, I'm kind of tempted to use the freeze ray, but let me see how much damage it does to this guy. Oh, it does nothing. Uh, it kind of makes sense because I can't fight ice with ice. So it might be time for the other sword. Oh, and this might work. Oh, okay, that just good damage. Okay, let's get this guy down. Then we can go up in temperature. And oh gosh, and this might be the fastest dragon fight ever. Oh, and down goes the dragon. So with that being done, that's gonna be the answer done on the screen. Oh, and that's challenge complete. Wait, do I get XP now though? Um, maybe this gives it to me to me. Oh, okay, that was a normal XP. Yo, my levels keep going up. Oh gosh, we are getting way too hot. We are getting way too hot. All right, so with that being done, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great one in this video, just like this one. Bye, guys.